my YouTube family. I got a big flex for you. I got a big flex for you on this. Please do not tear me up on the comments. What I'm showing you is solely just because it looks cool. I'm not saying the front like you're something you're not. I'm just saying, hey, I, I'm just showing you guys what you can do to change your car. The car is pretty much a computer and they put the same computer in every car and they just program what they want you to see. So I'm getting ready to show you right now how you can change your display so you can look cool and not just see a boring Audi logo. You can see S5, you can see RS5. So let's get straight to the point. Here we go. Swipe. If you didn't watch my other video on how to get to the green screen, look at the link above and you can see how to get to the green screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the green screen on this platform. So I basically have the car in radio mode. The reason why I have it in radio mode because when you have it in radio mode, it leaves these two buttons open to where one doesn't light up first and it just disengages to where you don't get to the green screen. So I'm gonna hold down these two buttons. All right, same time, pressing it. All right, so I'm on my green screen. So now that I'm on my green screen, I'm gonna to go to car. I'm gonna to go to car coding. That's gonna be car coding. So now that I'm on car coding, all I do is I come right here. As you can see, this is gonna be my vehicle making model. So I put it on RS, but as you can see, you can change it from S model, S line model, the standard with just the Audi logo. So check it out, S line, S model, RS model. So of course I'm putting mine on RS model just to show you guys how it looks. So I'm just gonna press okay for RS model. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. You can change anything in your car. You can change the language, anything in this green screen. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and press return. Just to exit out. All right, so I'm exiting out of that. So now that I'm exiting out, I'm just gonna just press media to exit out. Okay, so now that I'm exiting out, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off so to show you guys. So look at that. Bop, boom, pow. Oh! Audi Multimedia Interface RS. So if you have the electronic display on your over your uh, steering wheel, same thing. It's going to represent RS on your vehicle, S line on your vehicle, S5 on your vehicle. I think this is cool as hell. It gives you a nice little spunk to your car. Like I said, to each his own. I'm just showing you guys you can do what you want with it. Don't roast me for this. I think it's cool. I have it on my car. So yeah, that's pretty much how you change the um, interface display let alone so many other things you can change. If you guys are curious about what you can change to your vehicle, go ahead and just put it in the comments and I'll do a video on what you can change or I'll respond back in a comment. So yeah, it's basically the same car. You know, it's just coded on what they want for you. So if you have electric mirrors, you can have them fold by themselves. There's so many things you can do and unlock on your car. All right, guys. So the second thing I got was there's a lot of people who uh mmi system sometimes freezes it's not working with the 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 interface down here uh it just uh will, will have latency and slow or you know it's just not working to its optimum performance and sometimes you may not even know it so with that being said i wanted to also add into this video on how you can reset your mmi system on your audi so let me go ahead and show you guys that. So I'm gonna go back to the RS nav and I'm gonna to go to the Audi. Bam, RS, cool, right? <laughs> all right, so now all I'm gonna do is come right here and you, what you have to do is you have to press setup, the middle button and this button. On some models, the setup is gonna be menu. So you're gonna press menu in car versus setup depending on the model you have. And like I said, for the A3s and S3s, there's um, a different way that you can do it. So I'm just gonna try to press this button and this button and this button all at the same time to see what happens. All right, so let's see if I can, I'm trying to do it while holding the phone. So let me go ahead and try. All right, so simultaneously press these three buttons and I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna hold it down. Bam. So you see that? 
I held it down and it's rebooting my system. So it's saying Audi check signal and my system is now being rebooted. So that's how you reboot. You just press, uh, you just press the button and this button. Like I said, you may have menu instead of setup on um, yours and you're gonna press menu um, car and then a the top button. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, you probably do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and press this unlock button and hold it down. And if I hold down the unlock button, my windows and my sunroof opens up. Okay, so windows and sunroof opens up. If you hold down the unlock button, and if you hold down the lock button, everything closes back. So simple as that. You hold it down for about three seconds, everything goes down. You hold it down for, you, you hold you hold the unlock button for three seconds, everything goes down. You hold the lock button for three seconds, everything goes up. All right, guys, all right, guys, on this last one, you're gonna kill me. I'm gonna have some people in the comments that's gonna call me an idiot. They're gonna say that everyone knows this. They're gonna say, you might as well just show us how to open the door, but I don't care. I didn't know this the whole time. And one day I found this out. So once you um, unloosen your gas cap right here, you have a little hole, you put that right in that little hole. Simple as that, guys. i loosen your gas cap. Just hold, hold your gas cap in place so that way it doesn't dangle around and you don't break this here. So like I said, I didn't know it the whole time. So um, am I an idiot? No, but I like sharing information. So that's why I left this for the end. For the people who do make it to the end, you get a little nugget. All right, appreciate it, guys. There we go. Put that back on. Good. All right. Like I said, there's gonna be people that know this already. I know it, I get it. You know this, duh, owner's manual, different variables. But you know what? Some people don't know. There's gonna be a, a, a large amount of people that probably don't know that you can do this with your vehicle. So this is for the people who don't know. And this is for the people um, who would like to know. And if you know, then great. But I'm reaching out to the masses to let people know the cool things that they can do with their cars. So like I said, comment below. Let me know what you want me to show you. i somehow put it into the next video or I'll make sure I give a comment to you guys. Let's keep it going. Let's like and share. Facebook, wherever you can. Let's get this channel to the next level. I appreciate all the support, all the new subscribers. Thank you for watching another video from Bruce Custom Motors. This is Bruce. Peace. I'm out.